Yeah. YouTube, what's good? Back with another video. You know the vibes when I'm in the car. You know I'm going or you know I'm coming from. On the way to the gym, trying to navigate through all this motherfucking traffic. It is nuts right now. But um, let me holler at y'all real quick about it's so easy to be above average. You know, ain't nothing wrong with the average dude, you know. If that's your lifestyle, if that's what you makes you happy, if that's what your calling in life is to be at be average, be below average, whatever. I ain't judging the lifestyle. But for the motherfuckers over here that's trying to be above average, trying to be great, it's easy to reach and obtain that. Just do it in increments, right? So if we break it, excuse me. If we break it down into different sections, right? The average motherfucker is what? Fat, lazy, out of shape. So for you to be above average, what you need to do? You need to be in the motherfucking gym, working out daily, constantly, making it a lifestyle. You know they said the pop, the percentage of the population that could bench 225 is like 3% or some shit. Like point some is it's not a lot. Basically, I'm getting that. It's not a lot. So, you bench at 225, already above average. You bench at 315, you in fucking almost the one percenter club, you feel me? Like, I, and I'm just talking about average motherfuckers, not your daily gym goers that you motherfuckers be seeing, like on Instagram and shit. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about average, everyday people. Like, if I walked outside, if I walked into a McDonald's and selected 100 people, how many of them could bench 225? Or how many of them could bench 315? It's not gonna be. It's, it, 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 I doubt it. Be five of them, but that's the percentage. You get what I'm saying? So easy to become above average, but you gotta have the mindset to want to be above average, right? You can't be. You can't expect uh, great results doing average shit. You can't expect uh, results from. You can't expect great results from work you're not putting in. You feel me? So, that's that on that. Financially, financially, you wanna be above average, this is how you calculate it, right? Whatever your age is, whatever your age is. So, take me for example, I'm 29. You multiply that shit by 1.5, that'll put you at about what? 43.5 for me, 43.5 on the low end. This is just minimum, bare minimum, right? This is to be above average, average, but my age would be 43, so $43,500 annually. So to be above average in that aspect, what do I need to make? Above 43,500, which is fairly easy to make above that. But if you really want to excel, now you want to start diving into the higher brackets. Now you start dipping into trying to get into 60K, 70K, 80K. Right? You want to get up there. That's how you get above average. That's how you start trying to dive your way into the 10% the, the club, the 20% club, the 1% club. You know, chip away at it. And whatever your goals is, keep attacking it with that same tenacity of work to the point that you're trying to get to, right? You're not going to try to get on Madden and play motherfuckers and play motherfuckers that really do this shit all the time and all you've been doing is playing the computer on rookie playing the computer on pro and then try to get online and play against these motherfuckers that's ranked throughout the country you know motherfuckers that's ranked throughout the country and think you're gonna beat their ass because you beating the computer by 106 that's not how this shit works bro because the work you put in doesn't match the competition right so you got to be putting in all madden you got to be putting in all madden level of work and effort to be able to compete against motherfuckers like that. You really gotta be playing against motherfuckers that's ranked, that's really nice like that on the sticks. If you think you're gonna uh, stand a chance out here. You see what I'm saying? You gotta put in the work that matches the goal. All right, next, right? Moving into sexually. The average dude, let's just say, you know, girls, I know you hear it all the time, whatever, girls say most niggas can't fuck. Most niggas ain't fucking bitches right. Most niggas ain't making girls come orgasm you know most dudes that's what they, that's what this consensus is so that's the majority so for you to be above average 
you need to do. You need to be making her come. You need to be lasting longer. You need to be making sure your shit is rocked up every time you go in there for business. Every time you go in there to handle some shit, your shit should be blocked up, rocked up. You know? And the only way it's going to be like that is that you taking care of yourself. You drinking water. You exercising so that your blood can circulate through your body properly. You taking your supplements. You taking your uh, maca root, ashwagandha, beetroot powder. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're not watching porn all the time. You're not fucking up your sensitivity. You're not jacking off and, and, and taking the taking the energy and the vitality out of yourself, right? I would, I, for thing about it for me is I advocate no fat and shit like that, but semen retention, that's all on, you should be retaining your semen if you're not fucking, right? That's how I look at it. If you're not having sex with a girl and there's no reason for you to be releasing it, you shouldn't be releasing it, right? Now I can understand if you monk mode or some shit or you just down bad, you know, whatever, you just ain't been able to get some in a long time. Yeah, go ahead and get that shit out. If it's been three months, shit, if it's been three months or two months and you ain't got no pussy, go ahead and get that shit out, bro. Especially if you ain't doing nothing productive with that energy. Like, if you're not on the grind, changing the world, or you're not working on business and shit like that, or you're not grinding and shit like that, something where that energy that you stored up is not being put to use, go ahead and get that shit out of you. So before you fucking burst into fucking flames, bro. All right, get that shit out of you. But if you are in a position where you, you are able to get girls, then you shouldn't be beating your dick. You should not be fapping all the time because that's what they're for. That's what they're for. And then doing that too much, it make, it gives you complacency. It's like a it's like a vice. It's the same thing as like smoking or drinking and shit like that. It's a vice that you have to kill time, to you know, dopamine shot, you know, shit like that. And that shit, and when you get in there with a girl, your shit won't get up. Your shit will not get up. Right? So you need to be taking your sexual health very, very important. Because a lot of girls will tell you, I talk to a lot of girls too. Like conversation wise. I talk to a lot of girls and they say it all the time. Guys ain't fucking right. Guys ain't lasting long. I got with him. He was so this, that, and the third. And then we get into the time where it's for us to, you know, handle business and he can't get up. Or he came in two seconds or he pre cummed. He pre came putting the condom, you know, some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? But making poor performances. Like I told you, you get judged off of your last performance, yo. So every time, especially if it's a girl that's your first time dealing with her, bro, you do not want to make a bad impression on her. Especially if you might, it might be a one-off thing. You're going to go in that group chat and that's her that you lost and five other bitches. You lost her and five other bitches now because you came in there with limp dick bullshitting. You should always be trying to put your best foot forward when you meet me. If it ain't your girl, even if it is your girl, but especially if you out here single and shit like you need to be putting out good reviews good resumes everywhere you go you feel me and then if it's your girl you need to be slutting her out like she's one of these bitches that you fucking when you were single you need to be slutting her out fucking the shit out of her you know unlocking her fantasies because if you don't she's gonna cheat on you with a nigga who is you need to be keeping yourself in shape or she's gonna cheat on you with a nigga that is you know, so sexual health, you need to be above average in the big. And they say average, on average guys, you know, they only have what, five partners or some shit like that from high school to adult life. Five partners? To be above average, all you need is six? You know? So, I mean, you take that however you want. A lot of, some dudes is better off. And I don't want, this ain't no teasing y'all type of thing. This ain't, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm just giving you the information. So if you want to be above average, this is the stuff that you need to, these are some of the things that's attainable that you can do. Last thing I'm gonna say on this too is, is mentally, mentally. The average person is what? They're not reading. They're not taking time to take care of their mental. So they're not doing therapy. They're not meditating. They don't care about it, you know what I'm saying? The average person would rather be entertained than informed. All right, get that simple. So what do you need to do to be above average? You need to be reading. You need to be meditating. You need to be thinking. Uh, 
deeply. You need to have a perspective. You, know, you need to be reading. You need to be meditating. You need to be in therapy. You need to be taking the time to, to make calculated decisions that most people aren't making. Because most people are emotional, not rational. Right? Everybody's too busy wanting to scroll on TikTok and, and Instagram and shit just for the entertainment. Instead of trying to read a book or learn new skills or anything like that. I like to read books that's like the art of or the science behind type shit like that. I'm into that kind of shit. Like I like to read books on chess strategies and shit like that. Shit that motherfuckers don't think about. Shit that motherfuckers don't think is cool. I kind of think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? The art of war. The art of seduction. Like the art of respect by Jay Prince. Like shit like that. Or some autobiographies by some people like 50 Cent, Hustle Smarter, Hustle Harder. Those are the type of shits I'm into. That's where I get a lot of the game I give y'all. Shit like that. And it makes it it makes it makes easier for you to have conversation when you know something. It makes you more attractive to people when you know something. You can teach something. Right? That makes you above average to the dude she's been talking to. Because they ain't got no conversation. It's, what's your favorite color? Uh orange bitch what size is your panties <laughs> you know what i'm saying so to be above average you got to do above average shit you can't just settle for average results feel me and i talk more on this shit in the next coming days but uh right now this pre-workout is rolling through me and i got i'm at the crib right now i had to grab something but i'm about to head to the gym so i'm gonna holler at y'all but until next time, this is Wolfgang Pete, this is Wolfgang Lifestyle, and I'm out.